Yo, what's up guys? It's literally been two months since I made a trading video and I've made a lot of big trades since then. I've gotten some big items like the Clockwork Headphones, Poison Horns, Silver King of the Night, and even some extremely rare items as well. So let's get straight into the trades that I've actually completed. First, we have this trade, which is the Bombastic Antlers, the Princess Hat, the Emerald Eye, the Princess Top Hat, for the Golden Emperor of the Night and the Captain Steampunk. This trade ended up being absolutely horrible. I lost 14.4k in this trade, so hopefully nothing actually ends up getting worse. Oh my god, it gets worse. I traded the Omega Rainbow Boulder, the Captain Steampunk, and the Noob Attack Bad Hair Day for the Neon Green Equinox. And I lost 6,000 Robux in this trade. I don't know what I was thinking when I completed this one, but my god, if it gets worse than- Alright, trust me, this trade actually isn't bad. Even though I'm losing 6.1k here, it was actually a mass trade. So I gave my Dragon Tamer for these three 8-bit HP bars and then another four 8-bit HP bars. So I actually ended up winning like 1.4k on this trade, which ended up being pretty good in a 1 for 7 trade. Then for some reason, the person did a mass trade back to me, but they actually gave it to me for less. So that was really weird. They actually gave it back to me and I still ended up making a little bit of profit. So that's really good. The next we have this downgrade for the Tentacles Jr., which was stupendous. I got the Nars Lip Crossbody, the Troll and Pumpkin, the Builder Master Headband, and the Super Bowl Crown. This is about a 9,000 Robux win right here, which honestly, you really couldn't get any better for this Tentacles Jr. team. And then I ended up getting the Tentacles Jr. for really cheap as well. I gave the Legit and the Adora Antlers for it. So not only did I get this thing for really cheap, a 5k win, then I traded it off for an 8k win. So I ended up winning 13.8 thousand Robux off this Tentacle. Here I traded my Overseer All-Seeing Pendant for the Adara Antlers and the Purple Crystal Circlet. Another 3k win, really good downgrade right here. Here's another trade that also ended up being amazing. I got the Scroll of Sevenless for the Adara Antlers, the Hot Jams Headphones, and the Bombastic Shutter Shades. And I ended up winning 10.6k in this trade, which obviously is really good, especially for this item, which gets really good trades on it. I really don't know what happened in this trade, I ended up losing 25,000 Robux here. I got the Blizzard Beast Mode, the Space Hair, and the Neon Hair for my Green Top Hat, Gold Emperor, Gingerbread Immortal, and Troll and Pumpkin. I ended up losing 25k. It's probably the worst trade we completed. Next, I completed a trade for this rare. I gave my Ice Valk and a bunch of Robux for the Headdress of Akin Atin, which was a pretty terrible trade, but I kind of just wanted this item, so I gave a bunch of Robux for it. Definitely was a pretty big L, but like I said, I didn't really care about the value. And here's the trade where I got the Poison Horns. I actually got the Poison Horns for the Classic Fedora, the Blizzard Beast Mode, the Sneaky Green-Eyed Snake, and the Space Hair. This one ended up being really good. It was a four for one trade, and the Poison Horns has done pretty well since I made it. So this one was definitely a W, especially over time. Here's another great trade that I made for a gear. I gave the Flaming Hedgehog for two Space Hairs and the Skay Leverner Boy. Honestly, I'm pretty sure when I completed this trade, I actually ended up winning more than 4.5K, but over time these items went down. For some reason, some of these gears just get really high overpaid. Next, I just upgraded into the Bronze Roblox Music Video Award. I gave my Vegetable Hat, the Classic Roblox Viking, and the Core Blox Ice Crown for it. Pretty good even trade, 1v3. Then here I just made a small upgrade into the green Super Happy Joy. I gave my Red Sparkle Time Katana, the Helm of the Flashing Bolt, and the Pout of the Moon Egg. 1.3k win in an upgrade, so definitely a W there. Next, I traded for the Frozen Horns of the Frigid, and I actually ended up giving my Poison Horns for them. So I gave the Viridian Domino Crown, the Poison Horns, the Blue Clockworks, and the Cell Queen Smile for the Frozen Horns. This one ended up being pretty good. I actually ended up winning like 8k here. So this was definitely a W for me. Then in the next trade after that, I actually traded my Frozen Horns back for the Poison Horns again, the Silver King of the Night, and two Violet Spring Butterfly Wings. This actually ended up being pretty bad. Probably should have just kept the Frozen Horns, but I ended up trading them right after and it wasn't very good. Then here we got one of the Domino Crowns. I got the Festive Domino Crown and the Aqua Emperor of the Sky for my Blue Wistful Wink, the Space Hair, and the Tentacles Jr. This was like a 6k loss. Man, all these trades look terrible now. But I actually did end up trading it really quickly, so I didn't even take a loss on it. I got the Pink Galaxy Gaze from Festive Domino, the Space Hair, the Legit, and the Blue Plaid Fedora. I actually remember this trade. I got the 2011 New Year's Top Hat and the Dark Steel Katana for my Zanwood Fedora, the Absolutely Shocked, 
the crazed viking and the conductor's gold pocket i actually still have this 2011 new year's top hat and this person sent me this trade because it's marked as projected but it isn't actually projected so i just got a free 8,000 robux win here and then here's my most recent trade honestly this trade is probably terrible i'm not gonna lie this trade is probably awful but i traded for the clockwork headphones probably gave way more than i should have but i got the clockwork headphones the lol who the evil skeptic and the teal rockstar smile for my poison horns the headdress of akin atin and the silver king of the night i really have no idea if this trade is good or not if anybody watching this is into trading let me know how bad this one is but anyways i'm sorry i haven't made a trading video in so long trading on roblox is literally dead and i probably won't make another trading video for a while but either way thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe peace